Hello, everyone. Make sure you're on. I'll continue. Yep. I'm going to show you today how to resin a canvas. Um, I've got my push pins in. I've taped the back so that when the resin rolls over the edges, then we can heat gun them off really easy. Um, this is a modified bloom. Uh, it's very pretty, but it's going to my sister, so it's going to be resined. Um, if you own one of these little spatula, silicone spatulas, uh, I guess, I don't know what you call it, but uh, has all these little teeth that are separated, use this for your resin spreading. If you don't own one, get one. I don't know where I got this, but it came with some stuff I ordered, I'm sure, and uh, it's amazing. I'm going to use KS Resin, their Liquid Art Epoxy. If you've never used that resin, I've used a couple of other brands, and I absolutely love this resin. Um, I have determined that I need five ounces of resin to cover my canvas. I've got my little handy dandy measuring uh, thingy here and I'm going to set it on ounces. I'm going to use the resin and I'm going to do two and a half ounces of the resin and I've already I put my resin in a little warm bath I'm um, just in the sink just to kind of uh, help with the bubbles but the heat gun that I use with this resin too this resin it's amazing um, it will get all the bubbles out so And I'm only doing one canvas, so I'm not using a mask. Um, if you were doing more, I would say to definitely use one and make sure your area is aired out and all that good stuff. Now I'm putting the hardener in, and I'm going to do two and a half as well. You want to be pretty close, so... That's why I suggest you get a kitchen scale. Um, this one, I don't know, cost me about $5, I guess. Maybe $8 at Walmart. And it works great. I'm trying to get the five. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. Now you want to stir the epoxy. Um, this is what the KS resin looks like. That's the hardener and this is the resin. I ordered it straight from the company in Canada. Um, it may have taken five days to get to me. It was pretty quick. So I'm going to turn my skill off. I'm just going to stir this. You don't want to stir it too fast because the less bubbles the better. I don't know if you can see in there, but when it starts mixing, it gets a little like cloudy. And then once it's all mixed, it will get clearer. And you have to make sure that you scrape the edges of the cup. Or, I don't know if you've ever had experience with resin, but if you pour it on your canvas and it's sticky in a spot afterwards, it's because the part A resin and the part B, the hardener, did not get mixed well when you were mixing. So. That is a tip for you guys. 
and also I have a plastic container um, like a sterile tub that I'm going to be placing this in once um, I get the resin on so that I can put it in there and there's no air particles or dust particles that will fall in it. Now as you stir this a little more it will get bigger bubbles in it but don't worry like I said if you have a heat gun uh, once it's spread out on your canvas you'll be fine. So before you do your resin, make sure you get one. Um, I have tried a the torch um, on one before, and I really didn't have very good results. I don't know if it just was me, or I don't know. I much prefer the heat gun. Because it kind of blows the hot air out instead of uh, like at a steady steady interval instead of the torch. It seems like the torch is not very consistent um, when you're doing that. Make sure your canvas is level. Um, this is a self-leveling resin so it will level itself out so your piece needs to be as level as possible when you put these pins in and it doesn't move and you know your surface is level then you're level I'm rambling because I'm trying to get this stirred up really well and I'm not a pro I just uh, just done this and I know a lot of people ask about how to do it so I just want to kind of put it out there to you followers that are following me and I certainly appreciate it um, it's been an awesome journey I'm uh, excited uh, maybe soon I'll move out of my kitchen but for now I'm still in my kitchen uh, but it's been fun that's just going to get more fun. So, all right. So, we're just going to pour this on the canvas. See the bubbles? I don't know if you guys can see them, but. And, like I said, I've already. Also, I have a. Uh, took some Dawn dishwashing soap and a paper towel and wet it and I washed my canvas off. This canvas was done uh, about six weeks ago maybe so um, the paint is cured and none of the color came off when I washed it and then I took uh, another paper towel and wet it uh, and got all the soap off and been sitting here I've wiped it off a few times so I'm just gonna kind of move this stuff to the edge a little bit kind of like you're you know kind of like you're moving paint on the canvas just feel the weight of it smear it out a little bit I just love this painting. It's so pretty. It's going to be beautiful once it's resined. Okay. So now I'm going to take this handy little silicone thingy I have and I'm just going to bring this resin to the edges. And once you're done with this silicone brush, I have a, uh, a little 
cup here that is I filled with some hot water and some Dawn dish dishwashing liquid. And I'm just gonna drop it in there and then troll it around and uh, it'll like clean it. All the, all the resin will be off of it. It's pretty awesome. And don't worry about pulling from the middle where your resin is because it's gonna level out. You just wanna make sure that you get it around the edges. remember who I saw use this little brush and I was like I have one of those somewhere and of course if you're like me you have stuff stored everywhere I looked and looked until I found it so um, I really like using it sure that I'm over the edges everywhere. Just kind of kind of let the teeth roll off the sides. said it's just uh it's just gonna roll off the sides and it's gonna level out behind you so don't worry about those little teeth marks just making sure that the it, all the edges are incorporated take much uh, weight. I mean, you're just sliding it over the top, basically. Okay, I'm going to go around the bottom. And you have about 45 minutes working time uh, before this starts setting up. So uh, a little glass of water with soap. Let's stick that in there, just like that. Now I'm gonna get my heat gun and I'm going to put it on the low setting and I'm going to get about uh, About a half inch from the surface and uh, just kind of go over it and make sure we pop all those bubbles so we're gonna do that right now at it. It looks pretty good guys. All right so uh, just watch your drips. Put it in your bucket as soon as you can because of the dust particles and uh, I will show you guys the dried results soon. Thanks. 
see you then. Bye. Okay, guys, so I'm doing my first voiceover um, because I videoed this and there was no sound. I videoed it twice, actually. I, I did the heat gun on the blue and white split base, this one, and uh, didn't have voice, <laughs> didn't have sound. So I'm showing you the one that we, uh, we just resined. But then I also resined the black and white split base from the video. Um, that the paint was not smooth it had like little edges if you go to the video and see the end of it you'll see where it was messed up well the resin fixed that so if you have a painting that uh, has lumps and bumps in the paint uh, try resining it first before you call it trash so I'm just going to show you how to get the tape off the back of the canvas with the heat gun. I'm showing you the little drips on the sides there um, that come off with the tape, so it's important that you put the tape around the edges before you resin it. It's really odd to do the voiceover because it's, uh, it's the first time for me to do it. So, I'm showing you here that the tape's pretty stuck. I mean, it's not coming off. So, I just set the heat gun on low, and I'm just heating up the, the tape. I wasn't sure if you guys could see me, which you can see me just fine. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to heat it up and peel it back. So... I'll let you guys watch this part. And it just comes off. And we're just doing it again on each side until it uh, kind of gives way a little bit it's really simple so if you're trying to use resin and uh, you're either scared to use it or you've never done it before this is an excellent video that shows you the process I do one at a time so I don't use any PPE or anything like that um, and I put it in a Sterilite container uh, with no holes in it so it keeps the dust and the particles from flying into it and it keeps the fumes all in the in the container so again I'm shaking it like it matters <laughs> but uh, yeah it's just really satisfying to see this painting especially because it was ruined um, actually my husband was like I love it and he hung it on his wall in his office uh, and then when I did the other blue and white split base I uh, didn't video the back of me taking the tape off um, and I was like shoot I need to go back and you know do another one so that I can show them this in the video and he was like well do this black and white one I was like, I don't know if it's going to help it. He's like, well, we can't ruin it anymore. So we did, and I'm so happy that we did because it is, it, it really saved it. So like I said, if you have anything um, that you think is not salvageable, throw a layer of resin on it and see if that doesn't help. I mean, what can it hurt, right? So here we are at the last piece of tape. I guess I could have got that little piece off at a later time, but you know, it just comes right up. Voila! And 
it's beautiful like I said if you want to go to the black and white split base um, go to the end of that video and check it out because that painting was horrible and of course there's the blue and white one and it is so pretty those metallics shine so awesome under resin um, I will be doing more resin so um, that was for my sister but the black and white one I'm just so thrilled that it turned out great well I hope you guys like this video and uh, thank you for watching and uh, putting up with me not having sound on this part so I will talk to you guys soon thank you and see you next time bye